Good morning. So this next has to do with probability and permutations and combinations. You'll definitely need your calculators. Um, we're going to be using the PRB button. PRB. Button it on your calculator. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. All right. Um, and then here is your n minus your favorable outcomes is this is what this means and this means factorial exclamation point I use them all the time um, so for example two factorial means a better example let me give you like five factorial really means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's what a factorial does. And that's what that button does with the asterisk. Okay. Um, so there are two different ways to arrange numbers. So there's five different ways to arrange numbers. Five. So that's how you find it. Okay. Let's see some examples. So you have a talent show. Eli and Mia, along with 32 other people, so, I'm sorry, 30 other people. So I'm saying that's 32 total people. Sign up for an addition for a talent show. The contestants are called at random to perform for the judges. What is the probability that Ellie will be called to perform first and Mia will be called second? So this is like an order. So find the number of possible outcomes first. So we're going to say 32, and we're going to do that. So let's do it in our calculator. So you have to hit 32 first, and then you're going to hit your probability. You are going to arrow over till you hit the exclamation point and hit equals and equals again. It's a really big number, so we're not going to solve it. We're going to leave it at that. So let's move on. So to find the number of favorable outcomes, Ellie is first and Mian is second. So that means 30 minus 2, because they want to be first and second. Sorry, 32 minus 2. So that would be 30 so number of favorable outcomes you would make a ratio of favorable outcomes over total outcomes. So you would say 30 factorial over 32 factorial. And I don't know if your calculator will do it. Let's give it a try. It's been a long time since Elizabeth I've done this. Flores. So let's go to the beginning. Divided by 32. factorial equals. Now I want this as a fraction, so I'm the second fraction to decimal, and I get 1 over 992. So if you have to back up and see how I did that in my calculator, feel free to do that. So it goes with the probability, but I have to hit that shift key, that second key, to get fraction to decimal, or decimal to fraction. Okay, let's try another one. So Gila, Anissa, and Grant are in a lottery drawing for housing with 40 other students. So that's 40 other. So how many people is that? 44? In their dorm rooms. If the students are drawn in random order, 
What is the probability that Gila is chosen first, Anissa second, and Brant third? So we're going to take our 44 minus the 3, right? First, second, and third, which is going to give us 41 factorial over my total factorial. Okay, so let's kind of do what we did before, and I'm just going to arrow up in my calculator. I just use my arrow up button, and I'm going to change this to 41 arrow over 44 equals, and then again, second fraction to decimal or decimal to fraction. Second. Doo, 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 doo. I want it as a fraction, please. It did not like it. What am I doing wrong? Do, 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 do. Second, ABC. Second, fraction to decimal. Well, actually, we can do this on our own. It's not liking it, so we need to simplify this. Let's see if we can simplify it the long way. So this really means 41 times 40 times 39 times 38, et cetera, et cetera, right? This one says 44 times 43 times 42 times 41, etc. So really, this starts canceling out. So I am left with 1 over, and I'm going this direction and I apologize, and then I'm going to multiply these. I'm kind of glad that happened. 44 times 43 times 42 is 79,000. 464. That's a huge probability. Very nice. Wasn't that weird? Okay, next. Permutations. So permutations, if you want to stop and do your assignment for that, I think we're fine. I think that's where our stop is. Yep, I'm going to stop. So factorials and then permutations.